Hello, this is David Evans of Quantum and DV Indicators. In this video, I'm going to talk you through a Sortino ratio filtering method with a template which is available to um, subscribers of the DV Indicators research service. So what we have in front of us is the main spreadsheet. We've got the um, SPY, that's the SPIDERS ETF for the S&P 500 and the DVB indicator. Uh, this is a roughly the, the, the same template you'll see um, on a general DV indicators research um, template whenever you want to uh, load a tool. This is what it will look like. However, we've added some uh, additional options, which is the rolling 252 period Sortino ratio, uh, the rate of change of that Sortino ratio, and the percent rank of that rate of change to bound that um, rate of change to see how quickly the rate of change the Sortino is changing. If it's changing quickly to the downside, then it will have um, a, a pretty poor rate of change rank. Then we have the ability to filter results based on the Sortino rate of change, but I'll come back to that in a moment. Uh, first, it would be useful to look at what the Sortino ratio looks like on a rolling basis. So here we have the 252 period uh, rolling Sortino ratio of trading the DVB indicator with its standard settings, which would be to uh, go uh, long below 0.5 and short um, above 0.5. Uh, we can see that the indicator value, uh, performance has varied. We, we had a pretty poor run going into 2008 and an exceptional run in 2008. And apart from um, a kind of a spurt in 2010, the indicator performance has really dropped off, of, off the chart here um, very quickly. Um, here is the performance of the indicator trading it um, as it as it is. The, the set rules are the simple and then the compounded performance. We can see here the impact of that performance uh, dropping off. Um, what we can do is, is filter the results. First of all, I'm going to show you how to um, filter the results using a very basic Sortino trigger. So um, there are two triggers available. One of them is the actual Sortino ratio, and this is just literally the, the 252 rolling um, ratio. So one, in the, one filter might be to apply a zero rating. So whenever it drops below zero, you stop trading it. And the other is the rate of change. And now this is how quickly the Sortino ratio is changing. So to knock this particular, um, to ignore that particular part of the filter, give that a really low negative value. So now the, the filtration won't be taking that into account. And we can add that back in in a moment. So now all uh, the because the rule the trading rules here is looking for the Sortino ratio itself to be above this value and the rate of change to be of the, above this value. So if, if it's obviously the, the rate of change can't below, go below 99 um, or can't go below um, ze, um, much below zero. So um, we, currently this isn't applying this filter. So if we'd have just traded based on the Sortino ratio, Sortino ratio being below zero this is what the results will be. So now these results here are showing us what the um, what would happen if we apply that particular filter. And if you wanted to, you can change the values here. So change it to one. So this would mean that the Sortino ratio would have to be uh, above one for, in order for you to trade the DVB or another um, indicator. So here's here's um, how um, the indicator would have performed. So um, you can see effectively we we caught most of the 2008 boost. I mean it's been um, up and down since then. Um, if you really wanted to, you could say uh, you wanted the Sortino ratio to be 2 or, or 4, um, and which obviously hasn't really happened apart from much, apart from 2008, or 0 0.5. Uh, now let's say you wanted to, to keep that at 0, but you're, you're interested in the Sortino rate of change. And this is a percent rank, so it goes between 0 and 100. So a, a good good, um, good one might be 0 0.2 or 0 0.25, which is a fifth or a quarter of the way through. So now this is saying that um, you want the Sortino to be above zero and the Sortino rank, the Sortino rate of change to be, uh, be above 0 0.25. So these are the results we're getting here with that. And if you wanted to, you can change that. You can say, all right, I want the Sortino rank to be above 0 0.5. Uh, we can see that gets fairly good results, but um, doesn't happen that often. Uh, so 0 0.2, and if you wanted to bring it real down, you can um, bring that down to 0 0.10. Okay, so these are the values we can change. Um, 
if we wanted to, now we can change the indicator we might be trading or the market. So let's do that now. Uh, let's say that we wanted to trade the uh, DVO and the market, the DV, uh, let's look at the, um, the diamonds. So we, we just change that. We make sure we have the arrow pointing before the market and we hover over the market. If you've just changed the indicator, put the cell over the indicator value. If you're changing the market as well, put it over the cell here. So we go to um, DV panel. This will run through. So we have the change indicator value. So we're here on the left here, we have the how the indicator performed, um, changing it, trading in the basic rules without any filters. And below we can see the Sortino ratio. Uh, we can see that really this this the performance, unlike on the SPY, the performance really um, got hammered post 2008. Um, and we can see quite clearly how this very simple filter here, um, using the values, would have helped us to, um, I think the overall performance now is actually pretty level pegging. Uh, we didn't catch all of the upswing, but what it has done is it, it, it got you out before uh, performance deteriorated too much. So you can trade, or you can put in different indicator values. Remember, if you're putting in different indicator value to double check the rules. Um, for example, if you wanted to trade another indicator which might be long above 0.5, you might need to switch the indicator value values. Uh, I'll show you how to do that now. Let me let me put the um, DVO in the, in there. It's coming down here. So you, what you can sometimes do is trade the opposite rules. So if you want to do that, just put a little equal uh, equals minus before the symbol value here. Um, so this would only really be useful if you wanted to check what the opposite rules, the opposite trading rules might be. So if you tra only traded the opposite rules um, um, in certain circumstances. So in some of these indicator values that currently uh, or in the last month, trading the opposite rules has actually been more profitable. So that's what that's one way you can sw quickly check whether that has actually been um, useful. So just put a minus before the if here and then um, copy down. So I'm going to double click on the bottom right hand corner to apply that to all the past. So this is the Sortino uh, filtering template that you can use and you the main um, options here are to change the actual Sortino trigger. So if you want to only trade uh, indicators where the Sortino is, is above zero or you can just add to a one. You can also apply this Sortino rate of change here, um, which varies between 0 and 1. So I hope this has been useful. It's David Evans of Quantum and DV Indicators.